is up guys? My name is Matchbox Team. Welcome to another episode of Sakura Beach 2. And I forgot to say, and you guys can call me Match. And, alright. So, with the last episode, we had Nene do some awesome greetings to Ayumi, which she couldn't handle anymore. <laughs> oh my gosh, she was moaning. We already know, I, I was reading it, but I already know she was trying, she was moaning in the damn. Oh god, I love Nene. These three girls are awesome. Well, let's just continue, and, oh, and Mabuka just got back, so, you know, she's sitting right there. I'm gonna go. Sorry, I, I, oh my god, sorry, I can't, I just can't stop remembering that little part. <sighs> Let me on that part. I'm back. Mabuka comes bounding out of the waves. Just in time, too. So, Senji, are you ready to go get... She stops and she notices Nene. Hey, who's this? Do you know her, Senji? I'm Nene. And you are? Ayumi and I both freeze up, terrified of what she'll do next. Oh, <laughs> see? Oh my god. But she doesn't move to give Momoko's a special greeting. Hi, oh, Momoko. It's nice to meet you, Nene. I see Ayumi and Senji have already met you. Ayumi looks back at Momoko. I don't really know what to say to her either. Is something wrong? It feels really awkward for some reason. It, it's nothing. Okay. Want to go swimming together tonight? I, I would love to. Two of them go dive into the surf. It's amazing how naturally Momoko can make friends. Even with Nene out, out of the picture, Ayumi doesn't look like he's recovered from what just happened. When did you meet her? Last night. When I was stargazing. Jeez. She's very different. I mean, it looks like she's not even angry. Just completely in awe of what happened. I'm... I'm not happy about what... Yeah, you don't need to say it. But at the same time, I think there was no malice to it. I... I... I am so flustered that she doesn't even know what to say. I wasn't expecting to, that at all. I'm very sorry, Ayumi. I'll, I'll accept your apology this time. But someone needs to show that girl how to properly behave in public. I will not be as forgiving as of, of, of other of, my, of any of my further misunderstandings. And if I find out that you had something to do with this, I'll throw a pillow at you. That dreadful shiver goes down my spine as she says that. Oh my god, the pillow! Please, anything but that. I swear that I had nothing to do with that. What just happened? If you didn't, you have nothing to fear. Your behavior is very suspicious, Cindy. You wouldn't have anything to hide, would you? No, no, no. I have nothing to hide. Just... Just what? Before we continue, Momoko returns. That girl talks a lot of strange things, doesn't she? Yes, she does. Aren't you put up a little bit by it, Momoko? A little bit. But she seems nice. You shouldn't be too harsh. I'm sure she's not used to being around other people. Well, yeah, I guess so. She just worries me a bit. There's nothing to worry about. I already interviewed her. So she's fine. But she... Did something happen to Amy? I really should say anything. She's... She's just strange. That's it. And her method of greeting people is completely inappropriate. Then we'll just show her how to really behave. My heart sinks as she says that. Having Momoko show someone teach having Momoko show someone teach someone how to behave. I just don't think this is going to end well. Nene already has some serious miscon misconceptions about certain things. Nene appears again shortly after Momoko. Mr. Stranger, I need to go back home now. She looks a bit worried about it though. Is something wrong, Nene? No, no, nothing is wrong. Everything's fine. Nothing out of the ordinary. so I can talk to you. It's kind of boring at home, so it would be fun if I could. Absolutely not. You only just met him and... Sure. She looks really happy when she hears that. Thank you, Senji. Thank you very much. After Fuwei exchanges numbers, Nene runs off along the beach. She calls back to me before she disappears from you. I had fun today. See you later, Senji. Me too, Ayumi and Momoko. Long after she disappeared, a deep from... Brown forms on Amy's face. What 
are you doing, you fool? You can't just give her your phone number to a stranger like that. Ayumi, I don't know what happened, but you shouldn't be too harsh. But, but she's strange. And a stranger. And a strange stranger at that. Oh my god, this girl. I have to look out for Sanji's well-being after all. You shouldn't just, you shouldn't just, oh my god, you shouldn't make such a big deal out of it. I think she's lonely, Ayumi. Ayumi seems to relent when I, just, when I, when I say that. But, but still, she's practically, she's practically a stranger. She just wants to, she wants, she, oh my god, I can't read. She just wants a friend, doesn't she? There's nothing wrong with that. Exactly. There's no need to be mean to her. I'm going back to the water. We'll catch up later. Mamako quickly disappears, but Ayumi hasn't given up yet. But why is it your responsibility? You don't even know her. Look, she just wants a friend. I agree she talks about some unusual things, but she's harmless, isn't she? Behavior like that is not harmless at all. Even so, I'm standing by my decision. Shaking her head, Ayumi turns away and pouts. Fine, but don't think I've accepted her just yet. I will make sure that she won't bring any harm to my Senji. So you're worried about me then? Of course I'm not. You don't have to act like you don't. I have no idea what you're talking about. You're saying embarrassing things again. But I don't really mind when you do. What was that? Nothing. I never say anything to you. I never say anything, you fool. Okay, say nothing then. Good. You get the idea. I'm starting to learn Senji. Impressive feat. Well, it's only been how many years? And I did outright tell you. Both of us just laugh. Oh, I can use cute as fuck it. Oh my god. But I can't help but think about Nene. Hmm. Momoko approaches me later. Sinji, where did you meet that girl? I met her just last night. Right. I won't make any judgments just yet. I even look really shocked though, didn't she? What was that all about? Well, where do I start? She thought Ayumi was a god. She grabbed Ayumi's peaches. Mm, let's keep it a secret to her because I don't. I think she'll. Um, she used it against her, so let's save this one. She thought Ayumi was a god. Really? She sounds like an interesting person. Tell me more, Sinji. After quickly summarizing what happened, Momoko seems to be thinking her to herself. That is really unusual, isn't it? How clever, though. She found a way to touch Ayumi's. Oh my gosh, she. I even. I just told her like that straight up. Touch Ayumi's bust and played her off as if it was a misunderstanding. You could learn something from her, Sinji. Oh my. <laughs> no. What are you suggesting? I'm not looking for ways to touch people's... I trail off as I imagine forms in my head. You're thinking about it, aren't you? Oh my god. Y you did that on purpose, didn't you? She leans forward and winks at me. Did what? What? Would an innocent kid girl like me ever suggest something so indecent? There's no way that anyone would believe that a dirty mind she that has. Why are you thinking about that anyway? Oh, I'm not. But I love it when Sanji thinks about it. You get all hauled and bothered. Hot and bother. It's so cute. I just want to hug you right now. She opens her arms wide. Come here. Before I know it, I look down and. But if I do that, they will. Who will, who will do what? Sing silly. She looks down too. She pretends to be shocked. Wow, Cindy. What? Oh, he's got a boner? Holy shit! He, is that what you think? Think about now when you want to hug someone? No, this isn't at. Oh, what's the point? Denying it just makes it seem all the worse. It's not like Momoko isn't listening to me anyway. Oh, what will we do with you, Senji? Now you can't even hug someone without having impure thoughts. Well, maybe if someone didn't plant these thoughts in my brain? Now who did that? It would have happened to me. Nope. And I'm innocent. And I'm innocent in all of this. Fine, you're innocent. I'm dirty. Aw, it's not fun if you admit defeat. It's just like Ayumi's reboot mode. You made her enter reboot mode way too often. 
What do you mean? I haven't done that at all. Well, there was that time when you were in your fan club and turned in and tried turned up and tried to put a curse on me. Then Ayumi showed up and destroyed them. Followed by you teasing her in the rest of the, of the day. Then when we were walking home, you said that she must be really devoted to me in order to protect me from magical curses. And then I had to carry her home because she just stood there spouting nonsense to herself. That seems oh my god, shit. I love that I love Ayumi, she's so freaking adorable when she does that. That I that seems like an awfully specific story. Maybe more believable if the details were vague. It's perfectly believable because this actually happened. There's no way something like that could seemingly from nowhere Nene appears. She's holding out a bucket on her hands. Nene? What are you doing with that bucket? I can see an, an almost devilish grin from, from on Nene's face. Nothing. There's no way that bucket contains nothing. I, I thought you had to go back home. I thought I did, but not yet. I have a little bit more time, so... Oh my god. <laughs> this girl's a prankster too! Oh my god. Oh my god, I love this prankster. With sudden movement, Nina throws its contents over Momo. Throws its contents over Momoko. Wait, so is that, that is water, right? Cascades of water completely soak her from head to toe. No! Momoko tries her best to escape, but Nene keeps chasing her after her with that bucket. Cause how much water can that bucket hold? It, it's so cold! Momoko shivering the entire time. Come back here! I will drench you! Drench her? Wait, why am I thinking of something like that? Oh my god, dude! I'd at least smack myself in the end. The scene in front of me is only escalating too. Momoko is diving behind whatever she can to escape the under under rending waterfall. Nene is reloading her bucket for a second assault now. Don't think you're going to escape that easily, Momoko. Momoko doesn't seem to be too pleased about the whole situation though. I only just dried off. Just as she says that, a second cascade is already being poured on top of her. Oh my god, this prankster is my favorite, holy shit! Nene can't read the atmosphere at all. Momoko doesn't even bother trying to escape this, escape this time. Great streams pour over her, but she has nothing but apathy to offer. It's not often that I see Momoko do this. Guess she really, she must be really annoyed. I was having a nice chat with Senji and everything. Well, considering what she, we were just talking about, maybe this is Momoko's karma coming back on her. <laughs> true. That's so true, dude. I mean, he, she did give Mom, uh, Senji a boner. It's <laughs> the first time I ever I had like a character have a boner in, in one of the soccer games. I mean, often doesn't get her revenge at all on Momoko. So it seems that Nene has stepped in where Ayumi didn't. Finally, it stops and Momoko just stands there wriggling her hair. Can we go back to the hotel room, uh, to the hotel, Senji? I need a hot shower. Oh my god, that Nen is my favorite. She's so fucking playful. Hey! Is this a new point of view? Not point of view, a new scene, huh? After a mean eventful day, I'm just lying in bed and enjoying some peace and quiet. And with that, we're gonna end it there. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like. And if you guys want to uh, see some other video games I have a second channel like for like, Call of Duty or any other games that come out on the PS4 I will try to see if I can do Xbox games but I'm mostly a PlayStation guy but yeah that's it thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next episode of Sakura Beach 2 goodbye